Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about an item that could potentially save you hundreds of dollars in the future or it could even protect you whether it be for your safety or somebody else's. Now this item is actually something that I feel like every car enthusiast should have at least or generally I mean it would be beneficial for almost every driver out there to have one because there's so many things that happen on the road nowadays where we just don't know and obviously we have our phones but we can't be ready to record unexpected scenarios uh, so before I actually show you the item I want to ask you guys a couple questions have you ever been a victim of a hit and run Have you ever been a victim of vandalism? Or maybe a victim of road rage. These are all just some of the scenarios that we typically come across at some point in our lives. Um, personally, I've been a victim of two of those things. My car was vandalized at one point and another point um, my car was actually hit. It, was, it wasn't too bad, but it was actually hit in the parking lot one week after I got the whole car repainted. And I had no proof of who it was. And so everything had to come out of pocket to get it repainted. So. If I would have had a dash cam, which I actually want to thank Blackview for sending this out. So they sent me the dash cam and they also sent me a battery pack. I decided to go with this setup because it's the most user friendly. And they do have a battery pack that you can actually hardwire into your car. And I know there's a lot of people who don't feel comfortable touching anything in their car. And this is something that you can actually do by yourself. You don't have to pay somebody to do it. It's easy. I wanted to use this, uh, these two products to show you guys how easy it can be. And anybody who feels like they might need it or have been a victim of um, you know, any kind of damage to their vehicle. This is something that everybody should have or almost everybody. At least in one of their vehicles. I want to first talk to you guys about the... Uh, the dash cam so this one actually records in 4k which is gonna be uh, very uh, beneficial because you want to get the most quality out, out of a dash cam because if for any reason you have to get the license plate of a vehicle 4k is what you want to have you never know with the quality on some of the cameras if it's going to be visible enough to get it so this this setup uh, personally actually comes with two dash cams, one for the front one for the rear. So this is the Blackmagic battery pack. With this device you can actually record up to 12 hours while your car is parked. So you can feel comfortable leaving your car somewhere in the parking lot, stress free. And uh, it also has two USB slots that you can use for any charging devices that you might need. I'm not going to be doing a full on tutorial, install tutorial on this. This is pretty universal. I'll go over the basics on what I'm going to be doing. And I just kind of want to show you guys how easy it is to do the install yourself. You don't have to pay somebody to do it. I just kind of really wanted to put out the message on how important it is for you guys to have this. Guys, see if you're spending thousands of dollars into your car, really consider getting one of these because you never know what's going to happen. Even if it's just a small accident that happens and the person happens to get away, it'll be beneficial if you can get their license plate and have them cover the damages because I don't feel like we should be paying somebody else's mistake. And this is where Blackview is going to come in handy. So I highly recommend it. If you are interested in purchasing this setup, I'll put the link down below. But you can also browse their entire store because they have different types of setups, battery packs, that um, different cams. 
And also, I'm going to be including a discount code right here. That's going to save you 10% off your purchase because who doesn't want to save money, right? But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and uh, get this install going. And um, I'll show you guys how easy it is. All right guys, so I'm in the car now and I'm about to do the install, but before I get started, I know I mentioned already that this won't be a full on installation video. Now, I will show you guys of what I'm going to be doing and how I end up running it. But if you guys do want to see, I know a lot of my viewers right now are here for the F30 and John Thick F30 already made a video. So I'll link his video in the description below if you guys want to see exactly everything that he did. And um, but this video is actually more about informing everybody out there who's a car enthusiast or just anybody in general to be honest how beneficial of having a dash cam would be. So before I get started I want to mention where I'm placing the camera which is going to be right in the center. I'm going to be running the cable up through the back cover of this going to the headliner and then I'm working my way down the A pillar and then eventually come in through here and go inside and make it down to the power box now some of you guys aren't going to have that cigarette lighter down here which you guys are going to have one which is somewhere in this area right here and then you're just going to be plugging it in and then you can actually run the cables probably tucking tuck them in somewhere and then run it to the uh, power box as well which you can either place over here or somewhere down here which I've seen that it's been done it's kind of more of a personal preference uh, if you have it down here then you'll have e easy access to your USB ports so those will be more convenient if you want to plug and unplug a certain cable or having it down there you can actually hide it so it's just a matter of preference and uh, yeah guys uh, let me go ahead and uh, get started alright guys so I'm done with the install and it wasn't that time consuming the only thing for me is I had to work on this at two separate times. Uh, I had to take a break in between, so I wasn't able to record or keep track of how much time it takes. But really, once you think about it, it's not that time consuming. So I have the dash cam set up all wired through. And I know a lot of you guys aren't going to have this piece right here to run the cables up into the headliner. So they provide you with these little cables. Uh, I mean, not cables, but little plastic pieces to run the cables. Um, why is it not focusing? Um, let's see there we go so you get plenty of these and you can actually you'll be able to stick them on your dash I mean your windshield and run the cables all cleanly and then even and then you can finally tuck them inside the uh, headliner all right guys so I want to show you how I have mine set up which is pretty similar to John's I have the box right here with the cigarette lighter plugged in right there and then I have the cable for the rear dash cam running through the back that way. Everything else is tucked in here. And then it just kind of works its way upwards up to the headliner and then back. With each car, you have to use your own judgment because I know every single setup is not going to be the same. But it's really not that hard. And once you guys kind of take, take some time and actually look into how you guys want to set everything up, you'll be able to figure it out and then kind of see what the best, what you know what location would work best for your needs but everything is set up you got the rear cam back there and also if you want to get your video recordings you can use the uh, SD card like take the SD card and use the little USB device that they give you but a lot of us are going to prefer the phone method and it doesn't take that long to actually connect it so you're going to need the information that you have on here which is your passcode it'll have the information for the Wi-Fi or the cloud and you just want to write those down or take a picture of it just to have because you are going to be needing it whenever it comes time to actually connect it and once you hit the Wi-Fi button that's up there it'll pop up on your Wi-Fi networks and once you open it up it'll ask for the password you put the password in and then you'll be connected and then you'll be able to go to the app and get all your uh, files from there so you can watch them and then you can download them whether it be to your phone and then just send them out to wherever and it's really simple but if you have any questions still my friend John he has it in his video he'll show you guys how to do everything 
Uh, but if you guys have any questions, you can also ask me, send me, drop a comment, or send me a message on Instagram. And, you know, I'll be more than glad to help. Once again, I want to give a big thank you to Black Bee for sending this out. And um, I'll have a discount code in the description below. That'll save you guys 10% from anything from your entire purchase. But, like always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.